How many sons are here? Sons are raising their hands again. Ah! So you can be a father and you can still be a son and yet that's not your name. Ah, that one, Yashika. This one. Yeah, that one. Hallelujah. I see this one arrived. So you see Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles. They are not names. There's a name to the titles. Okay, let me make it easier. Morning, afternoon, and evening is not three days. Did you hear that? Morning, afternoon, and evening is not three days. It's one day. But that day has got a name. Say that it's Wednesday. Say that it's Monday. Say that it's Sunday. Hallelujah. And here is the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? What are we doing? We are exposing mystery Babylon so that we can say, come out of here. Come out of here. If you hear titles, it's, hey, 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 hey. what's the name? Don't baptize me in titles. Hallelujah. If someone comes there and says, I've got an important announcement. The father is wanted in the car park. No one is going to go there. Are you hearing me? When you get to heaven, your baptism does not have a signature. Hallelujah. There is no signature if you are not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. You are a good people. Amen. So you see what happened. Then God realized that here, I can't deal with these Babylonians. God came down and he says, I did not kill these people. But what I would do is the other one will say, please, can I have the brick? And, the, and then the other one will say, who shall teach you in? So, we almost a low put. And to the one he's saying, we almost a low put. Eh, uruguta roti chikwe. Chikwe chikwe mbo iti kabana. Are you hearing me? That's where Zulu started. That's where English started. That's where Africans started. It started when Nimrod wanted to unite the world. And God says, I will divide them in language. They will not hear one another. Hallelujah. That's why the denominations can't hear one another. Hallelujah. They can't hear one another. When the spirits are high, you just hear ta 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 it's one type of tongues. Maurindi Maushim and the Mauditarian. Rondo Mondo Sondo. One type of tongue. Are you hearing me? And the prayer warrior is praying with his eyes open like this. He says, Rabo Tembo. He does send a pattern because he says, where are we going? Where are we going? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even our small children can see that this is kindergarten stuff. This is jipparish, jipparish. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When God wants to speak, he speaks. When God wants to speak, he speaks directly to say, my daughter, arise from them. Come out. Imagine if God said, Rimbo Tata, Mondoro Pota. (laughs) 
Are you seeing it? <laughs> you can see that this is kindergarten stuff, jolly housing. It is in Dolly Housing. No matter how much. <laughs> you know, we used to do Dolly Housing when we were growing up. So you, you come from home to go and play Dolly Housing. And when you get there, the small girl is not going, you are now mama. You are now daddy. You see? And you, some of the things you have to be creative. You say, daddy is a soldier. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Daddy has to go to work now. And the daddy goes behind the... And then he waits for some time. And then he... You have to announce. Daddy is now coming back. Are you hearing me? And mama will say, let the kids go and sleep. Are you seeing? And then when, when daddy comes back, mama has got cups of uh, maybe... Uh, the, the bottles of lotion that are finished, which has got sent, they say, now the food is ready. Daddy sits there. Are you hearing me? And then mama says, now daddy, let's eat. Even in Dolly housing, you know that you can't eat sand. You take the sand, you throw it at the back, and you say, nom, 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 nom. Are you hearing me? But, when it's 5.30 in the evening, no matter how much powerful you had, Dolly House. <laughs> you know there's a real dead at home. <laughs> Hallelujah. All oh, these things that denominations are doing is Dolly Housing. But let me tell you, when the trumpet shall sound and the great father shall come down, you shall leave all these things of pretension. There is a God. Who has got a clock that uncovers the pretense of the world? Are you hearing me? You will find daddy with the dust behind his legs. Now being beaten. Where were you? What were you doing? Hallelujah. And the Bible says they will come to me in that day. They say we have done this in your name. Yes, you are doing it in the name of daddy. But it was totally housing. You must go and part. You must go and part. You must go and part. Asma umpiana. This is not Dolly housing. Are you hearing me? We are on a journey. We mean business with God. Sit a little so that we can see where we can cross. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. That's what Abraham realized. No man. God came to Abraham. Said come out. From the land where you are living in. Where everyone is reporting to Nimrod. Where your father is reporting to Nimrod. Yep. Terah was a loyal servant yep. in that region of the era of the Chaldeans. And then Abraham went for a holiday. Because, in fact, he had run away because when Abraham was born, there was a sign. When he was born, the sign, he then went to his great grandfather, Noah. And they started teaching him the ways of the Lord. Yep. When he came back, he did not come back and say, I now know the Lord. I know the truth and everything. No, he didn't do that. He came back and he just became quiet. Because the system had forgotten about Abraham. But the call of Abraham was right on his bed. So when Abraham came back, he saw his father was making money. Because he was making these idols and selling them to people. That was his job. He would, the father was the father of the gods. He's creating gods and selling them. And then Abraham said, I don't understand these things, you know. And the mother says, hey, hey, don't say that. You know, the food that you're eating is coming from these idols. You can't be condemning at the church. We are what we are because of the church. And Abraham says, no. So he says, okay, daddy, can you teach me about this? He says, no, this one is the great God. This one is expensive. 35,000 rand. This one. This one will protect your field. Who will make the rain to come upon your field. This one, 20,000. He is the God of cars. If you come, if I give you this one, you drive a Lamborghini. This one. Are you hearing me? But Abraham's father had no Lamborghini. Have you ever seen that these witches that give people muti to do powerful things? 
Yena is walking without anything. Are you hearing me? And then Abraham says, no, man. This one is hitting him because they were the gods of wood and stone. He says, this one says, don't hit him like that. Oh, this one, you will die. This one can strike you, Abraham. And then God called Abraham. So Abraham went into his father's place where he was building the gods. He took a hammer. He started hitting the gods one by one. One by one. When he finished, he went, he took a pot of soup and he put it in that room and he left it there. When the mother went in, he said, what have you done? He says, ah, oh, mama, I can explain. It's not me. It's the gods. He says, don't explain to me. You explain to your father. When the father came, he says, what happened to the gods? Who destroyed the gods like this? It's not me. It's the gods themselves. He says, how? These gods cannot do that. He says, no, daddy, remember you told me that if I touch him, he would, he would beat me. What I did is I put soup and meat. You see this soup and meat? Before the big one and the small one. So what happened is the, the small one started to pick the meat first. And the big one was angry and started beating all of them. And the father said, no. It's the end of spoken word, what I'm preaching. The father said, mm -mm -mm -mm. I know this God can't do that. Are you hearing me? They know there are limitations. Though Semiramis is being called the mother of God. She knows a limitation. Though the mother of Halos has got a statue of Semiramis and she's been called the mother of God. Today, she's not the mother of God. She knows it. Mary was not the mother of God. Can you say amen? Mary was not the mother of God. That's why when the day of Pentecost came, Mary had to go to the upper room. And receive the Holy Ghost like everyone else. Now in the Babylon that is on the center. We had a man that was called Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was as powerful as Nimrod was. Because he ruled the greater region. He ruled up to, up to South Sudan, Ethiopia, down in Africa here. From all the way up Iran, Iraq, Middle East. Oh, that region and Northern Africa coming down. It was under him. He was a mighty man. Nimrod. Second Babylon. And this is what he did. He went and invaded Jerusalem. He put them and took them under captivity. And he destroyed the temple of God. Do you see what Babylon does? It destroys the temple of God. It destroys the ordained way of worship. And brought the children of God into captivity. But there are those that were in Babylon that purposed in their heart that they would not worship the idols of Babylon. It was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that said, we are not going to bow down to the images of Babylon. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. I don't care what has taken captive in the world, but we will not bow down to the images of Babylon. Are you hearing me? They refused to bow down. They refused to worship until they wanted to be bent into fire. And the fire burnt the people that wanted to bend them. I don't care even if they punish you for leaving that denomination. Leave that denomination. Come out of here, my people. Are you hearing me? When they were being tried, we are going to put you in fire. They said, even if our God is not able to save us. Are you still here? Are you thinking about food? Okay, all right. I'm just checking, you know, because mystery Babylon is, you know, there's always food and things like that. But here, even if you eat or you don't eat, the word is the bread of life. 
Can you say amen? The Bible says in Isaiah 4, verses 1, he says, in that day, seven women, women are what? Churches. Seven churches, seven women, shall get a hold of who? One man. Who is that man? Jesus Christ. And they will say, we will eat our own bread. What is bread? The word. He says, I am the bread of life. Are you hearing me? And they say, we will dress with our own clothes. What is the clothes? It's the Holy Ghost. So we don't want your word. We don't want your Holy Ghost. But we want to be called by your name. That is a denomination. Seven churches. They want to be called the church of Christ. But they don't want the word of Christ. They want to be called the church of Christ. But they don't want to dress like Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? Sit a little. There is a way a Christian dresses. Hallelujah. There is outward adornment. And there is inward adornment. And the husband is the one that adorns you. They want the same name. But they don't want the responsibility of being a woman. That is the definition of prostitution. Prostitution is pleasure without responsibility. Are you hearing me? Many prostitutes sitting here. You took somebody's child. You are living with them. You never paid a dime. They don't even know you. And their family. Are you Boko Haram? Are you Boko Haram? You took somebody's daughter. You never reported you've got her. And you say you're in a marriage. Hallelujah. That's not a marriage. You need to come to Corinthians, the book of corrections. You need to come to the house of God. You need to come and stand on the altar and say, I do, pastor. But before you say, I do, you say, I'm sorry. Three children. Not even ten run. You are a bad man. Are you hearing me? You should not stand when we say men are supposed to stand. You should sit down because you have got zero ounce of a man. When you say man, we are not Boko Haram. We are the sons of Abraham. And we don't want free things. We pay when we take. Hallelujah. I don't want a Basela wife. You must pay. Babylonians. It is in Babylon where whatever happens, happens. In Babylon. In Babylon, you come to South Africa, you get married without people knowing, you have children without people knowing, and that's Babylon. That's the religion of the Pentecostals. That's the religion of the denominations. If they invite us, their churches will break down. Because the first man to sit down is the pastor. Can you say amen? We say, how did you marry? Did you marry right? When did you marry? Are you hearing me? And he says, dun, 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 dun. we say, you are not Moses. You are not a stammerer. Go and sit down. Listen to the word. And come to repentance. Say amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are not Babylonians. We are Bible believers. We believe what God says. We take it to heart. Say amen. This side, the, this side it looks like Babylon is too much. Can you say amen? Can, can you show me that you're not part of Babylon? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you part of Babylon? Are you part of the message? Sick and tired of Babylon sisters that come with, with skirts that look like a sausage. You can almost see the stretch marks. Hallelujah. We are not in Babylon. We are in the message of the hour. Can you say man? There is a gospel brother that is sin killing devil chasing sky blue red water that can just sin and take it out. Can you say man? Our message is not a recycling business. Are you hearing me? This is not a recycling business where we take used plastics and put them in a furnace and make something else. This is a regeneration. 
business. Hallelujah. You come with your debt. We scrape the debt. We throw the debt. You remain a pure Christian. Say amen. Hallelujah. Oh my. Sit a little. 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 Hallelujah. Oh my. We are going into the enemy's camp. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me, Pastor? We say, sit a little, sit a little, sit a little. We are invading. One with God is the majority. God does not need all of us here. We are too many. Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Mandiamba. We are too many for God. One man in the hands of God. One woman in Nigel. Do I have people in Nigel? One little boy, one little girl in Nigel with God is enough. God will turn this whole thing upside down. One Moses against all the armies of Pharaoh. And Moses says, you let my people go. I don't care you've got an AK-47. I don't care you've got cancer. I don't care you've got what. You let my people go. Yes, sir. Listen. Sit a little. Listen to this. Nebuchadnezzar. When Nebuchadnezzar died, his son took over. We're talking about mystery Babylon. His son took over. Are you seeing that? It is a religion of succession without calling. You already know who is going to be vice archbishop. That's why they kill one another for position. You cannot have a flat tummy like me and be an archbishop. You've got to have a mkabanyana. Are you hearing me? And you come, you preach with your, with your hands at the back like this. And say, I greet you all. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. And then say, with such a great man, we need to pass an offering late. Our Archbishop cannot be driving in this car of 2000 Jagadar. He needs the latest. Can you say amen? Religions of Sodom. Are you hearing me? Babylonian worshippers. When Belshazzar came, he was worse than his father. The Bible says. Says in Belshazzar had a feast in Daniel chapter 5. And in that feast he invited celebrities. So miss. So Miss was in church. Are you hearing me? Celebrities. They were there. Cast on your vest. Child praise. I want to talk about those that you know. Are you hearing me? They were there. If you are here and you are listening to child praise, you need to repent. I was feeling someone saying, hey, please don't talk about Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he sings a gospel song. Shall I go there? <laughs> Shall I? The Bible says, God takes no pleasure. In the songs of fools. He didn't say lyrics. He says the song of a fool. God is more concerned with the singer. Than the lyrics. Zibaba. Wanugu. Nagurunga. Is the song bad? <laughs> There is a fool behind the mic. Yeah. Yeah. 
you see homosexuals singing to you gospel songs and you say you get into the spirit what kind of a spirit are you hearing me you see them with miniskirts and lipstick and you say you get into the spirit what kind of a spirit we've got trinidad we've got bible believers we've got songs of message believers and we are here in Nigel to say the gospel that makes Christians is here. Did I die? Did I die by not listening to them? Did I die? So why do you act like you are going to die? Okay, sit a little. Hallelujah. And then Belshazzar, Belshazzar went to the temple. You see, now the vessels were brought to Babylon. But they were in a locker. Nebuchadnezzar was bad, but he knew that these things, don't play with these things. But Belshazzar went and took the vessels that were taken from the temple of God. Are you hearing me? And he says, we are going to use these instruments today to practice my chess. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? There's a, there's a place where the guitar you can hear that. Mm. Are you hearing me? It reminds you of something. That is yes. That was Belshazzar. He took the vessels from the temple and he says, We are going to have a party today. I'm going to have beer in the communion cup. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When the vessels of God are taken into places that they are not supposed to be taken. In that day, it was vessels of gold. It was instruments in the temple. But today, the vessel, you are the vessel. Hallelujah. When Belshazzar take you into a nightclub to play on a piano. When Belshazzar take you into a parade show and dresses you are naked. When Belshazzar take you and strips you in front of men. When Belshazzar, you are a vessel of God. When you see yourself in a position you are not supposed to be. There is a handwriting that is ready to be written on the wall. Many, many take a for sin. You have been weighed in the balance and you have been found wanting. Are you hearing me? The first Babylon was judged through language. The second Babylon, there was a handwriting on the wall. The third Babylon, there is judgment that is coming for mystery Babylon. The Bible says, and all the nations and all the friends stood afar off when they saw that hallowed being judged. And in one hour, she shall be bent with fire. Are you hearing me? We are now closing. So there is a place where the hallowed is going to be judged. The scripture says, on verses 9 of 17, it says, And here is the mind that hath wisdom. The seven heads are the seven mountains on which this woman sits. The woman is sitting on seven mountains. In the whole world. Are you hearing me? In the entire earth, there is two places where there is seven mountains. The first one is the Catalina Mountains. Are you hearing me? It's the Catalina Mountains. When Brother Branham was tired and weary and discouraged and he was thinking, I'm going to quit ministry, the Holy Ghost stopped him at a certain place. He says, look at this mountain. What do you see? He says, I see a mountain range. He says, how many peaks do you see? He says, I see seven peaks. He says, how many names? How many letters are in your name? He says, seven. How many letters are in your middle name? He says, seven. How many letters are in your same name? He says, seven. He says, I wrote your name. Before the foundations of the world, I wrote your name. The Catalina Mountains were created for William Branham. And God wrote his name on the mountain. He says, whenever you are tired, come back to this place. Look on the mountain. It will remind you that I gave Billy Graham a university. But I gave you the mountain. Ah, seven peaks. God gave him. But there is also another place which has seven mountains. 
in that place is in Italy. It's in a place called Rome. On the Catalina mountain, there is no church. But in Rome, there is a woman that sits upon the seven mountains. She has got colors of purple. She has got colors of red. She has got colors of pale gold. Are you hearing what I'm saying? She is that mother that gave birth to all these denominations. Hallelujah. Praise God, I'm not a Catholic. You are a Catholic. You are baptized in the titles of the Catholic. Zirambe. Deny it. You can't. Are you hearing me? De denominations, all of them were birthed out of the Catholic Church. That is the original church. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That is the original denomination. The mother. You see, there was the, there was the church of the Romans. They say we're the church of the Romans. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. Because remember, when, when they came, they said, we want to be called the universal. Universal Roman Catholic Church. In other words, a universal is accommodative. Uh, you see, if I say, can I have a universal charge? <laughs> it can charge any phone. <laughs> we are not universal end time message. <laughs> we don't charge any phone. There are certain phones that say, ah, brother. The charger does not cooperate with your phone. <laughs> Can you say amen? Many people will try to bring them to the Lord. But the charger could not. No battery. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. It's a mystery Babylon. It's no longer a physical place. It's a spiritual place. Are you hearing me? It's a spiritual people. It's a spiritual behavior. It's a spiritual doctrine. It's a gathering together of people. With one language, one mind. It's an ecumenical council. It's a council of many churches coming together. To find a way to go to heaven. But they leave the Bible outside. And come in there with their creeds and dogmas. Can you say amen? Amen. There was a man. He was a farmer. And this man went into the field. And uh, he happened to see at a certain place there was an egg that had fallen on soft ground from a tree. But this egg was big enough to look like a chicken's egg. Yeah. And he wondered what kind of a bed had laid this kind of egg. Yeah. He said, I'm going to take this egg and put it under my chicken that is laying on the eggs. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when the egg was put under the chicken, the chicken could not tell whether this egg was part of its eggs or not. Are you hearing me? So it just continued laying on the eggs until the eggs hatched. And there was this uh, little one that was born that we needed DNA because it was different from the rest of them. We needed to call Brother, yes. Tina, Brother Tinashem Gab to say, can we conduct a DNA test on this guy? He does not. His clothes, uh, everything else goes like this. His are like, they are ready to you know, his mouth is everyone's mouth, mouth is straight. His is growing like this. It was an eagle. It was not a chicken. Are you hearing me? But it grew up under a chicken. So the chicken yard was Babylon. Are you hearing me? And the little eagle was the believer. It was you. 
So, you know, when it grew up there, it was being taught denominational things. And you know, just like chickens eat, they first, you know, they scratch. So, even when reading the Bible, there are certain scriptures that they were just doing. You know. So, they get to a place where it says women are not supposed to preach in this. Are you hearing me? They get to a place where it says a woman must not wear that which appertaineth to a man. Chicken. Chicken religion. Denominational religion. You must repent and be baptized. Mm -mm. So, it troubled the little eaglet to say, but why are these guys like this? Why, but you know, and it, it, they had a lot of questions. Just like you and me. We had a lot of questions when we were out there. Something is missing. There is a thirst for the reality. For the genuine. Are you hearing me? And uh, one day, that eagle, it had laid two eggs. But it realized that the other egg was missing. But in its head, it knew that it had two eggs. So it made sure that it hatches the one that was remaining. When the hatching process of the one that was remaining was done, that eagle went on an expedition. It was not looking for chickens to kill. It was looking for the lost egg. Are you hearing me? The lost egg was in mystery Babylon. The lost egg was under denominationalism. It was speaking the language of denominations. It was walking the walk of denominations. It was behaving the behavior of denominations. And Mama Eagle flew above that chicken yard. Hallelujah. She flew above the chicken yard and every chicklet went and ran under the chicken pan. Clack, 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 clack. Are you hearing me? And I can see mother chicken saying, come, don't go to those people. Hey, can't you see there's danger in the air? Don't look up. There's nothing coming from the sky. Hallelujah. 1963, there's nothing in the sky. Run, run, run. Don't go. There's danger in the sky. Come here. But the little eagle said, no ways. How long shall I keep running away? If there is danger, I want to see the danger. Hallelujah. If that church is a liar, I want to see the lie in that church. Don't scare me. Are you hearing me? And you know what? Chickens, those that have been to the rural area, chickens don't look up. Do you know that? Chickens don't look up. What chickens run away from is if there is a shadow that passes over, the, then they run. Even if it's a plastic bag. <laughs> Even if it's a plastic bag, they will run away. You try to open Jeremiah, they run. You try to open Daniel, they run. You try to open Ezekiel, they run. These are books that scare chickens. They are just the shadows of things to come. They are just the shadows. Even a plastic bag, a chicken will run. And when it ran like that, this one said, I'm going to face the danger. And there was a language that was being spoken by Mama Eagle. Are you hearing me? There was a language that Mama Eagle was speaking. Mama Eagle was saying, good morning, friends. Hallelujah. And they said, let's run away. Mama Eagle was saying, I see so and so. They come from such and such a place. You are suffering from such and such a disease. Thus, thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. He is the only prophet that came with us, saith the Lord. He is the only eagle that came with us, saith the Lord. Oh, modern prophets, do you know they don't say that, says the Lord. They say, can you say God deeper, Papa? 
Which Bible verse says God deeper, Papa? Are you hearing me? He came with us, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And she screamed over the chicken pan. And she says, come out of here, my people. She says, come out of here, little one. And then the little one said, how can I do it? Come and come and get me. He says, I'm not going to come and get you. What you need is already inside of you. Are you hearing me? You are not a son of God because we came to Nigel. You are a son of God before the foundation of the world. What you need is already inside of you. You were predestinated unto eternal life. Let's stand up on our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every head bowed. Hallelujah. Oh my, oh my, oh my. God is calling. Hallelujah. I believe you are that phone which can connect to the charger. Amen. I believe you are a predestinated seed tonight. You are something that God has ordained to come to life. We are not here for money. We are not here for anything else. We are here for you to come out. Where shall I go? There is Jesus. There is Jesus that can take a sinner. That can take a druggie. An addict. And make him a preacher. There is a God. That can take a prostitute eaten, a cancer eaten prostitute, and make a whole again. There is a God that has come to Nigel. This is the day of your visitation. This is the day of your calling, my sister. Whatever you need is in Christ, your breakthrough is in Christ. Maybe you are like that woman in the well. You have had many husbands. And you're saying, can God love such a person like me? Can God love such a woman like me? Pastor, I've wasted my life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Maybe you are like a Peter. Busy with deals on the seashore. Maybe you are like Matthew, the tax collector. These men were not good men. But Christ did not come for good men. Christ came for those that are wallowing in sin. In transgression, lost and blind. But that desire to see God. Are you here? This afternoon. Do you say you have spoken to me? Do you say I'm that eagle? Do you say I'm that eaglet? Do you say I'm Daniel in Babylon? I'm those that identify with the word. I want to come out of it. I see hands are raised all over. You can raise your hands to him. Hallelujah. There's a God that can save, brother. Oh, Nigel believers. We are here for you. There is a God that can bring a total turn around. I don't care what has been bothering you, my brother. I don't care. There is a Jesus. That's a miracle working Jesus. He can turn a cancer into pure blood. He can destroy a tumor, HIV, whatever. He is a genuine God. He is a God that I have seen. He takes a tattered man, a tattered woman, a tattered boy. A tattered young man that's sick and tired of this world. He is the God that we worship. Oh my. Sing a song for us. 
There is a fountain filled with blood for all, for all, Emmanuel's veins and sinners' blood oh, be Lose all the guilty stains. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn for all Emmanuel's and see oh, blood beneath the flood. The guilty say Oh, brother, sister, we want to pray for you. Just raise your hands to him if you want to be remembered in a word of prayer. You're saying, Lord, it's me. It's me, oh God. He's here. He can touch you. Hallelujah. Oh, my Pastor Jereka. Please come and commit these hands that's lifted to the Lord Jesus. You are our Father and only God. We worship you, my Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are our Father and only we worship you, my Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all. We give you all. Our we worship you, my Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you honor and glory. We give you honor, glory. We worship. We worship you, my Lord. You are worthy. Let's bow our heads to be praised. Close our eyes. The word has gone forth. God has spoken through our pastor here. None of us can deny that God was speaking through the lips of our dear pastor here. There is a purpose why these meetings have been uh, prepared. There is a reason why we are here. And it could be the reason that, uh, you know, that's why you are also here today want to start with uh, someone who's hearing these things for the first time someone who says as i was hearing the preaching hard as it may seem but there's something in my heart that recognizes that this is the true word of god if there's someone who has never made a decision you have never come across something like this maybe you are hearing it for the first time it's god who has an appointment with you if you are there, just raise up your hand. I'm not talking to those that have been long in the faith. I'm talking to someone who's hearing this for the first time. Who has got an impact in their heart to say, yes. I've, I hear the sound of an eagle. 
something in me tells me I'm not a chicken. I might be among chickens. I might behave like other chickens. But something in me tells me I am a daughter of God. I am a son of God. If you are there, just raise your hand as we want to pray. I see some hands. Those that say, this is the first time I'm hearing this. And uh, God is speaking to me. I want to see your hands. We want to pray with you. Then those that want to say, Lord, I've been long in this journey. But Lord, I need a revival. Lord, I've heard this thing so many years ago. But Father, I want to realign myself with the message of the hour. I want that same power again. I want that revival. We also want to pray for you. As we are bowing our heads and our sisters are playing softly now. We just want to pray the presence of the Lord is here. God is in our midst. You know, as you see us standing here, as you see the pastor standing here, we were not born like that. It started somewhere. We also had a message like this and we made decisions. I believe that uh, there are people who want to make their decisions. You've heard this for the first time and you want to say, God, help me to embrace this truth. This is an opportunity. Sometimes these opportunities, they don't come many times. While you have this opportunity, grab it with all your hands. Grab it with all your hearts because the presence of God is here. There is a power here that can transform, as the pastor was preaching, an ill-famed woman into a lady. There is a power that can turn you from drugs to a normal, sober human being. There is a power here that can make you a genuine article, a genuine Christian, a genuine man, a genuine woman of God. And we are in that presence. And uh, God is here to help you. God is here to reach out to you. Those that are hearing for the first time, maybe you can just uh, walk right here. Don't come too close. Just walk just uh, right here where there are these uh, machines here. Those who are hearing it for the first time. If you can just move, just come right here. Uh, maybe Pastor Zambuko, you can just wait so that they can see you there. Those who are hearing it for the first time and want to be identified with this. Raising your hand is good, but just come forward right here. Just walk and come right next to the machines here. If there's someone who's hearing it for the first time, and say, God, I want you to help me. As we are bowing our heads, children, let's bow our heads. Let's close our eyes. We are in the presence of God. Is there such a person before we pray? We want to say, God, help me. All right, we will pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that in a day like this, we still have uh, sober ministers who can still preach the word of God without fear, without favor. My God, we have heard from our theophanies. We have heard, Lord Jesus, the three Babylons, how you started, oh God, uh, with these things in Nimrod, eternal father. We see it coming to Nebuchadnezzar. We see it in our day, heavenly father. The best way to defeat the devil is to expose him. Father, Satan has been exposed. Religious wickedness has been exposed. Your children are here to be delivered, eternal heavenly father. There are some who are saying, I've heard from the depth of my heart. I've heard God speaking to my heart. Father, I pray, may you touch them in a special way, eternal father. Maybe some are still pondering these things upon their hearts, eternal father. They are still having battle minds, eternal father. Lord, I pray, may you come and be in every heart, eternal father. That's in hearing distance, eternal father. Maybe others are listening from their homes. Others are listening from the corners. And they are saying, what is this? We want to say it's Jesus Christ in the form of the Holy Ghost. Calling out his people. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you for the inspiration behind the meetings. Come out of here, my people. Father, the cry has gone forth. Lord Jesus, those that have got ears, they've heard the preaching eternal Father. They've heard the cry of God in this hour to come out of, uh, of that great wicked woman, that great religious system, that great thing that is deceiving all the nations. Father, we want to say there is still hope for this world, eternal Father. And that hope is the message of the hour, the true word of God, eternal Father. And Father, you have spoken your word here. You have uh, bellowed your word, eternal Father. And we are here, Father, even us, Lord Jesus, we have been long in the way. Father, we feel revived, eternal Father. We want to be realigned, eternal Father. We feel like we have been in a service, eternal Father, where we have been reconditioned, eternal Father. May you help us, Lord Jesus, Lord, to continue on this journey, eternal Father, and to live that life, eternal Father, to scatter the light, eternal Father. Even here in Niger, eternal Father, I believe that there are some predestinated gems, eternal Father, that are lying somewhere, that are seated somewhere, that are listening from the window, listening from another outpost, eternal Father. Oh, Father, it's a time where you are calling out everyone to be out of that system, eternal Father, to be in the liberty of the message of the hour, the word of God in its revealed form, eternal Father. We thank you, Father. May you restore the virtue that has gone out of the man of God, Father, as he labored to bring the word, eternal Father. May you bless him and his family. May you bless uh, uh, the host pastor here, Lord Jesus, the committee that has been working all the helping hands, eternal Father. May you bless them, eternal Father. May these meetings, eternal Father, be a start for someone, eternal Father. When we meet over there in glory, we want to hear someone saying, I attended those Nigel meetings. God spoke to me and change happened. And I'm glad that you came and we are here together. Father, I pray, may you bless your children. Lord, may no one leave this place, eternal Father without something happening in their hearts eternal father those that were far from god eternal father may you bring them closer eternal father those that were cooling off eternal father may you just revive the fire eternal fire those that were calm lord and cold and formal eternal father may they leave these meetings father or rejuvenated eternal father being on fire again eternal father to leave this message eternal father we give you glory. We give you praise, eternal Father. Oh, Father, we enjoy the presence of the Holy Ghost in our midst, eternal Father. We enjoy every word that has come, eternal Father. We say your word brings correction, eternal Father. Your word rebukes us, eternal Father. Your word aligns us, eternal Father. And Father, we stand and we say your word is right, Father. Your word is always right, eternal Father. We want to be more and more like you, Father. May your grace, O oh God, cover each and every person here, eternal Father. May the blood of Jesus Christ wash us whiter than snow, eternal Father. Lord Jesus, may you bring us closer and closer as we see the day appearing. We pray, Father, grant us grace, Father, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen and amen. Let's give a hand of praise to the Lord. We can do better than that after a preaching like this. Someone say hallelujah. Someone say, thank you, God. Let's appreciate, uh, you know, the word of God that has come in our midst with a round of applause. Amen. If there's time, before I hand over to the pastor, if there's time, would like to come and see the product of this very sermon that has been preached. I believe that when God uh, uh, anointed the pastor, there was someone who must receive that. Amen. We believe that uh, the word is doing its part. Amen. We want to now hand over uh, to uh, Pastor uh, Sambuko. And uh, we want to say we appreciate, we are happy to be in the presence of the Lord in Niger. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Let us all take our seats. Are you still happy in the presence of the Lord? Amen. I am very happy. I 
I don't know how to express it and I don't want to start expressing it now. So nobody is going to leave this place because there is food for everyone who is in this in this place. So I want you to sit still and um, food will be served. Amen. I know tomorrow we are going to be in our different assemblies. So I might not have the opportunity to acknowledge you uh, on the final day of the, the meetings. So I will do it now for the sake of those that are not going to be here. But before we do that, <clears throat> Pastor Mayer, are you tired? <laughs> there is a song that when he is happy, and I believe he is happy, and he sings that song. I, I would not want to deprive the people in Nigeria of that song. So, Pastor, can you do it for us? Praise the Lord. Pastor Zambuko. I want you to stand and dance. Uh -uh. Amen. So this is a very this is a very nice pulpit. We want to acknowledge this pulpit. Hey. <laughs> you will tell the story, Amen. 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 Oh. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Amen, hallelujah. Banani bakole to la ma. Banani bakole to la ma. Banani bakole to la ma. Amen. Banani bakole to la ma. Banani bakole to la ma, banani bakole to la ma, amen. Imba amen, 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 oh 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 oh, amen, hallelujah. Imba amen, 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 oh 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 oh. Hallelujah. I own Sanbenabranama. I own Elembo. Natia Elembo. Emba amen. 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 Sister, brother, amen. Brother, amen. Oh, 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 o
Unti ya mwari wa zambuko Tokudai, tokudai Oh, amen, amen Oh, mwari we penoni Tia mwari we na ijeni Atokudai, tokudai Oh, amen, amen Gati imbe, amen Imba, amen Amen, amen Sister so you see, Pastor Mayer is a double barrel rifle. He can sing and he can preach as well. God bless you. You may take your seats. Amen. I don't think he has ever sang this song better than he did in <laughs> I love you, my brother. God bless you. Amen. You know, if you think in church, there's no joy in church, you are wrong. This is the place where there is joy. That is why we have joy tabernacle. Amen. Because there is joy here. If you are looking for joy, you come here. Because we have joy here. God bless you. Fundis, thank you. When only see the tabernacle, thank you. This service was being live streamed courtesy of uh, Benoni City Tabernacle. They took their equipment designed for their Tabernacle and they brought it here. So somebody in UK now is watching us here. So can we give a round of applause <laughs> to BCT? I feel like having another set of special services next week. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Brother Nev, God bless you. Thank you for coming. So you see, it runs in the blood. You see what the pastor is. <laughs> and you see what the song leader is like. My God. I hope you are not in a hurry. Because you get home, you don't have to cook. You're going to eat and go home and sleep. Wake up tomorrow and go to church. And those that are coming back here tomorrow, there's food again. <laughs> so, Regents Park, did you hear what your pastor said? <laughs> I believe there's an admin. You must have a WhatsApp group somewhere. So there's an admin somewhere. So put it in the group that service is in Niger tomorrow. <laughs> Amen. So I want
want you to give a round of applause to Regent's Park Tabernacle. Amen. Joy Tabernacle. Amen. What shall I say then? What shall I say then? You see, Brother Chireka, I phone him anytime. I want to ask anything. I want to talk about something. I phone him anytime. And I, can, I don't mind giving him as many missed goals as I can. <laughs> and there's one good thing with him, man. Even if he does not attend to that call today, even if it takes two weeks, he will phone you to tell you, I saw your missed call last week. I'm coming back with regards to that one. He's got a, he's got a faithfulness that I cherish. God bless you, my brother. And remember, I said, I would phone one and say, what can I bring? He's one of the people. He actually phoned me. Pastor, do you want anything? Uh, friends like that. That's why I said, <laughs> you want joy. You come here. There's joy. Brother Adi, you know, I just called him and I said, Pastor, do you have a chance this week? Can you come and speak for us? Then he said, uh, okay, let me see if I can get somebody to stand for me when I'm, uh, when I'm absent. Then I will come to you. You know... <laughs> He is just a blessing just to hear him speak. Very soft and a deep voice. Brother Adio and your church. God bless you for coming to support us. Brother Valentine. And I, I phoned him the other time. You know, I normally go through my my phone my phone book so if your number is in my phone list but i have not phoned that number for a year i delete it but before i do that i phone you <laughs> to see if we are still in good terms i don't just want to take you out of my phone book when we are still in good terms so i phoned him the other time i think we spoke for over 20 minutes. Such a wonderful man of God. Very sweet. Filled with the spirit of God. Thank you for support, my, my brother. Thank you for coming. So, Joy Tabeneko, I am very shy because I did not do this, but thank you for doing it for me. They came with a minister. That's our Mkwenya Anade. <laughs> so in the land the whole land of South Africa <laughs> he could not find one <laughs> and he looked across the limpo <laughs> and he took sister from Zim, sister Shiloh. That's why I said he's our Mkwenyan. Thank you for coming. He's still in the, the Easter the, during the lockdown when we could not gather. So we were preaching on Zoom that time. So he went into everything that I had said we were going to speak about. I said, but this brother, <laughs> it was a new SEVS. God bless you, my brother. I love you. 
Brother Mkono, I told you earlier that uh, this 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 cover that we we have here. This cover that we have here, we got it from him. Those are the black chairs you're sitting on. We got them from him. The chair covers that we you see there, we got them from him. The tables here, we got them from him. There are others inside. This red red material, most of it, we got it from him. There is some tumblers that we're going to use to drink. We got them from him. There are fork and knives that we are going to use again. We got them from him. A very beautiful family. We went to their house. So... He called his wife, told the wife the reason of our coming. Then uh, my wife said to the sister, or oh, I don't know if it was me, my wife or I, we said, okay, so what is going to be the cost of all those these things? He had told me that you're not going to pay anything. Uh, when a family is working as one, there's no better thing than that. They did not, when he welcomed us, he did not, the wife was resting because she wasn't feeling so well. Then she was just called from bed and she said exactly what he had told us. That no, for the work of God, you're not going to pay anything. Can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> Brother Mapepeta, <laughs> he's saying, ah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's very difficult for me to call him pastor, neither for him to call me pastor <laughs> uh, from long we've been friends. When we wedded, he was my best man. So when there was a there, uh, when we were looking for a suit you said just look for a suit then something happened in the interim but he was he wanted to buy the suit for himself for me so he's a friend of mine ah when they said you can still buy it <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he supplies gas so we wanted it for this purpose then he just said uh, we told him okay can we get a 19 kilo so you brought it then we said i said okay when we come home in the evening we'll settle the bill then he said ah for these meetings then i said yeah he said ah we can't do that you know, I I am a person who's normally I, I try to hide my emotions. So I when I feel emotional, I go where you don't see me, I take away my emotions, then I come back and pretend to be normal. But your love is overwhelming. God bless you. There's a lady sitting in the back there. Uh, I hope she's not hiding from me. Her name is Susan. I hope I, I know she wasn't expecting this. Can you say it? Stand, my sister. If you hear calling me pastor, you will think that these people have known each other for a long time. But it was just for a short time. Very sweet spirit. She's the one who we spoke to. She's the one who 
agreed that we can use this place. Then she took it to the hierarchy so that we can be here. Not only did she do that, she attends, she, they have a, a service at, from 9 to 10 o'clock, and we start at 10, and she attends both services. She's got a wonderful spirit. And um, Auntie here, we haven't spoke, spoken much. She just sees me and she drives past. So I saw her coming this, this morning. Then she says she was asking, what time, by the way? So I knew she was coming. I saw her enjoying the song. God bless you, Auntie. God bless you, Sister Sue. Um, Auntie Josephine, ah, you can't hide. <laughs> Can you stay? God bless you richly. They always attend with us. They have their service, and when their service is over, they attend with us. By God's grace, I believe one day will be one big say we will have only one big service together. Uh, where is Petronella? Oh, she's inside. So you can stand. <laughs> and the wife is Petronella. These people when they do things they do it with their heart from the first day we met i just say let's do this and it's done god richly bless you god grant you all your heart's desires now i see the other sisters are not here they are inside uh, there was such there's such a dedication to just to just do. I, I did not ask most of them. They just said, Can we what can we do? Amen. And uh, the other sister was also inside. Normally we we were not collecting uh, um, offerings. So sister was asking me the other day, but why don't you? And there's been a couple of them now asking, why don't you? So that bag that you saw that we were using, the other sister just brought it and, and she said, Pastor, here is the, the bag for, for offerings. Something was hidden here. I'm receiving a note here to say we also have Pastor Cleopas Kamanga Skosana from Arare, Glen, Glenview 4. Where are you, Pastor? Pastor, can you stand? Ah, Pastor. Why did you do that? <laughs> God bless you for coming, my brother. We love you. Amen. So, I want to thank you all for doing this. So, we were planning, and then I received a phone call. Then the phone call said, um, We are coming. And we are bringing the band. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> okay. So we were not sure if we're not going, we we're going to have electricity because we've been having a, pro a challenge with that. Then he says, whether there is or not, we are coming. God bless you. 
How many enjoyed the music? Can we give them a round of applause, the Motor family? God bless you. Oh, I don't see my wife here. You know, he... <laughs> we stay at a plot. So we decided to have a few pigs. Then she said, uh, then since, since we have had them, we have not sold one, but we have had the meat. And only for, the, for this purpose. Sold them for anything, but we have just used them for, for the purpose. So this time she said, no, I want the big one. I want us to kill the big one. So I said, uh, okay, I thought you said you wanted these ones for your business. Then she said, no, for the things of the Lord. This time, let's slaughter the big one. I know she can hear me outside. I love you, my wife. And God bless you richly. I pray that the Lord will continue to give you this kind of love. There are some who, who didn't know me, who don't know me, but they are here. Just because of the love of Christ in you. And the same faith that we are contenting for, I believe is the same faith that you are. I want to say God bless you, God bless you, and God bless you abundantly. Amen. So, all the ministers and their wives, Pastor Kamanga um, included, we're going to go into the, into the church, and we're going to have something to eat there. Then the food will be served. And uh, while we wait for that, <clears throat> there is a song that Brother Nevan sings. Abatam Soro. Abatam Dumbu. Ana Simba Satan. I want our brother to sing that song for us. I want to, you to dance all the energy out because it's going to be restored. And at that same time, ministers will go into the church building and then we'll give the announcement of how the food is going to be served. Let's just tend to off it. I think Corona is finished now. I don't see so many masks. So we can we can shake hands. <laughs> Your neighbor next to you and say, God bless you. Let's give each other a lively God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Tamunyatisa. Hallelujah. Hana Simba. Satan Tamunya. Tamunatisa, hallelujah, Hana Simba. I can hear you say, Tamunatisa, hallelujah, Hana Simba. Attend, attend, hallelujah, Hana Simba. Attend, attend, Hallelujah. 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 
Tamunya, 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 Hallelujah. Tamunya, 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 Hallelujah. Apa kamu soro? Let me see you move. I turn the heart. Hallelujah. I got a musana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got a mutumu. I got a mutumu. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we sing one more? Amen. While we wait for the wait, is it okay. Amen. Una lo sina. Lo itu balo kutan da so itu balo kutan da so suna lo suna lo itu balo kutan wandi tatala hangi bekela wan. Wangi susa, wangi, hey, he knows. Uche suno, no 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 la mi. Uche suno, uche suno, who knows? The two of us. Sinai, what And they said, May that. And they said, May that. And they tell me, Oh, yeah, what is me here. And they said, May this is it. They said, May here. And they said, May that. Saints, amen. And you may be seated. 